Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a Halloween garland that I think you are absolutely going to love. Now I know I too am a lot like a lot of you. I have never been one to decorate for Halloween. It's just never been my thing, but this year I was feeling really inspired. I feel like I've come up with some really cute decor pieces that I'm really enjoying making that I think will be fun to put up each holiday season. Today's garland is so quick and easy and the outcome is stinking adorable. It's one that I think you should absolutely make because it's so stinking adorable. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do a Halloween garland DIY that you're absolutely gonna love using, did I tell you? Dollar Tree items. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, so getting started, I'm gonna use this yarn that I had in my collection. This is very similar to a yarn that you can get at Dollar Tree by Just Yarn. Because I had this in my stash, I'm not gonna go out and buy extra yarn. I'm just gonna use what I have. Dollar Tree's got this premier Just Cotton yarn that is going to be perfect for this. They've got it available in several different colors in the store, you just gotta look for it. So with this, I thought it was easiest just to cut one strand at 18 inches, the length that I want it, because I'm going to be making seven bunches of yarn that are 30 strands thick. And so to use this initial piece to get the length for each bunch is going to help us so we're not wasting yarn and we're getting the same size for each bunch. And so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do each of the bunches 30 strands thick. And so yeah, this is me recounting this bunch because mm -hmm, I lost count. Did I say we need 30 strands in each? You wanna make sure each of them has the same amount because you want it uniform. You want it all to look the same. You don't want some thicker than others. That's important. Those fine details in a DIY. So guess what? Yes, I'm gonna move on and add my four more strands because I'm gonna know they're missing even though you probably won't. For this DIY, yes, of course, I'm gonna incorporate some twine or rope into it. This is the perfect length to make a garland. I need to find the center of this rope, so to do that, if I grab my two ends and just kind of fold it in half, I'm gonna get the center of my rope right there. Look at that, easy peasy. We're gonna start off there in the center. We're gonna take one of our bunches of yarn, our yarn bunches that have 30 strands of yarn in them, and I'm gonna place it right in the center of the rope there because I feel like it's easier to space out your pieces when you're making a garland if you start in the center. Because when you hang a garland, you usually need to identify the center point. So when you're hanging it, it looks good and your pieces aren't awkward. I know I overthink everything, I totally do, but this comes with being a creator and a perfectionist. I'm gonna go ahead and put my yarn on it, getting back to the DIY, and I'm gonna take another piece of yarn and just tie it around, I guess, the yarn right here, like you see me doing, because we're making a ghost, a yarn ghost, for our Halloween ghost garland, yes! Now, because I don't wanna constantly be situating my ghost on this rope, I'm gonna hit it with a bit of hot glue just to keep it in place in the center of the rope there where we originally put it, because that's where I want it. I've dug into my stash of googly eyes. That's what these are, right? Do you call them googly eyes? Is there another name for them? Let me know in the comments. These are googly eyes, right? Well, whatever. This is what I'm gonna use. I have these in my stash because you can get a huge pack of them at Walmart, a multi-sized pack, which is great. And I'm gonna use the smaller ones because our ghosts aren't very big. We want our eyes, yes, proportionate with our ghost. And because I am putting seven ghosts on this garland, that means we need 14 eyes. Yes, seven times two, 14. 
I am going to use hot glue to put these eyes on, but I will tell you, you want to use a low temperature hot glue or let your glue cool down a bit because it will melt these googly eyes and we don't want that. Once I've placed my initial ghost in the center of the rope, because again, we're doing this proportionate, I like everything evenly spaced, I like everything to look the same on both sides, I'm gonna keep my two ropes together and I'm gonna find the spot in which I wanna place my second and third ghost, which will be one on each side of the initial ghost. Like how I'm making that super complicated because again, I'm overthinking it. But honestly, that's what I do, it's what makes me me. Seriously though, as silly as it sounds, it really is the easiest way to get a DIY garland like this looking uniform because you don't want all your spaces done unevenly. You really want it to be evened out spacely and I am just such a stickler for that. Have I told you that? I know, I may have some OCD, but I don't think of it as a character flaw at all. I feel like it just makes me a perfectionist. I am so not leaving the ends of my ghosts looking like this. Oh no, 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 uniform, remember? I want it to look uniform and neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine. Once I've got the first one cut, just by stacking the other ghost on top, you can easily get them all to be the same size. If you're not looking for your DIY to look uniform, if you want your ghost to be shorter, longer, do it, I say it adds character. Like I always say, this is crafting, this is DIYing. I'm just bringing you the idea of the DIY. It's up to you to take what you like, leave what you don't, and guess what? Put your own twist on it and make it your own. I wanted to add a bit of something else to this garland and Dollar Tree's got these adorable brooms. I know witches go with brooms. They've got them in orange, black, they've got them in purple and red. You pick two that you like. I'm going with the black and the orange. Only this ribbon, it's not doing it for me. It's got this silver tie. Yeah, we're doing away with that because I'm gonna add some gingham ribbon to it. Dollar Tree's got this amazing gingham ribbon and I feel like this is just a fun way to add just a touch of that farmhouse to it. Give it some of that black and white gingham, give it some personality and this ribbon's gonna do just that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a bow to each of the brooms. And when I add these brooms, I am going to offset them Truth be told, I wanted to use all black brooms. Dollar Tree only had one packet, I bought it. I spent, I wanna say a couple of hours yesterday going to four or five different Dollar Trees looking for one pack of black brooms and I couldn't find them. So in the end, I had to do with what I had and we're just gonna alternate the brooms. So cute, just the touch this broom needed. To tie these to the rope or attach them to the rope, I started off by just putting a bit of hot glue on the rope itself to actually keep the broom in place, keep it from moving around. Then I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite items. Yes, twine, I love twine. And I figured just by kind of crisscrossing the twine, holding the broom on, it would be a cute way to attach the broom and it wouldn't be a sore thumb, look like a sore thumb, a sore eye. What is that saying? Somebody tell me, my goodness, I have not had enough coffee today. An eyesore, that's it. It wouldn't be an eyesore. Oh my word. See, this is Kelly on a regular day without enough caffeine. My word. You get the idea of what I'm doing. Just watch what I'm doing. Gonna do that crisscross with the twine and it's gonna make it look cute. It's actually gonna give it that decorative feature. So yeah, just do that to attach it if you're gonna attach brooms to it. If you're not, then don't. And would you look there, look at that. Does not look bad at all. This garland is gonna look like something you got from Hobby Lobby, from Kirkland's, from Michael's, and we're doing it using Dollar Tree items. Typically, garland has a handle or a string attached to each of the ends that you can hang the garland from. We've only got rope here, so we've gotta add a handle to it. I'm going to use several strands of twine and just by hot gluing it onto the end of the rope, wait for it, I am not going to leave it like this. Then I'm going to take some twine and actually cover this mess up and make it look neat. 
Now we've just made ourselves a cool hanger and lengthened our garland so that way we can hang it from maybe some shutters, from a window, from a hearth or a mantle, you name it. So many things you can do with this, but this is such an easy way to add a handle to a garland that you're DIYing. Yep, look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It is that time where I feature a crafter of the day. So who is today's KB Creations crafter of the day? It's going out to Layla Wilson. She is one of our young crafters bringing to us her DIY 4th of July fireworks. How fun are these? She did an amazing job and we thought it was the perfect day to feature this because it is Labor Day. So happy Labor Day everybody and Layla, thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. Kayla's uploading today and today she is bringing to you the Virgo Maiden Zodiac Glass Painting Cute and Fun DIY. Whoa, that was a mouthful. You'll want to head on over and watch her create this fun piece. You can find the link to Kayla's video today. Guess where? Mm-hmm. In the description box below. My blog is up and it is running. I will be posting a new blog every Monday and this is where I take you along with me on this next chapter of my life and all of the amazing paths that it takes me on. I get personal because everything is personal, including this blog. For those of you who don't know, I love garlands. There are a few things that I really love as decor pieces that I put up in my house. Garlands are one of them. I have about three areas in my house that I do put garlands up in, and I am a wreath person. I love wreaths. I love to interchange wreaths on three of my doors in my house throughout the year. And so those are DIYs that I like to bring to you. When I'm making one for myself, I typically will bring you the DIY, because why wouldn't I show you it? When I'm making it for myself, some of you might like it, some of you may not. It may be for some, it may not be for some, but I like to make them. And so today, since I was making this DIY, I figured I'd bring you along with me because the outcome was so stinking cute, I could hardly stand it. I hope you all enjoyed this Dollar Tree Halloween ghost garland. Oh, I love it. Did I tell you that yet? Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and the comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. But most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive please and bye for now everybody.